I don't want to waste any time. I'll go ahead and share this with you. So the very first thing that I want to go ahead and showcase to you, all right, is a relatively well-known feature, but it works in a, a very good way. Now, have you ever noticed inside of business listings, all right, so let's just take uh, one of these particular services. Now, it might not have populated yet, all right, but if we come into here and we do local SEO service to Maqua, okay, we'll go down into here. All right, now let me just share this with you. All right, so see how this, see this right here, see how there's a, a world here. All right, see this little logo here, Chris Palmer Marketing. Their website mentions SEO service, right? So their website mentions SEO service. So this is what you call an enhancement. It's pulling different data from the web, all right? So from your website, from within your GMB profile, from within your reviews, from all over, all right? So what I want to go ahead and walk you through is a way that you can influence your rank by doing some very simple things. And that's exactly the tips I'm going to walk you through. So one of the first things that you want to do, and these things work together, it's something that we've been working on forever, right? It could be new tips, could be old tips, but they work together very, very well. Now I want you to take a look at all these different types of enhancements. See the, the globe, this is from the website. See this, this is a review, okay? As you scroll down, sometimes they'll pop in a little circle that can be an update that can also be an offer sometimes it'll even pull out product details so let me walk you through a process that you can start popping a lot better for as far as services and locations all right so one of the first things that you want to do to start feeding google information so you can start ranking higher in locations for very specific keywords is well if you want to rank for say I don't know, pressure washing service inside of Las Vegas, what you want to make sure of is step one, having the products to back up pressure washing in Las Vegas or Las Vegas pressure washing. So this way you have your product listed out inside of your Google business profile. Some categories don't allow this. If yours does great, you want to tie this product in to the relevant page for you. So that might be your homepage, that could be a service page, that could be a location page, whatever it is for you. Make sure it's tied together, but make sure you have that location that you wanna win, plus the primary service in your products. Step two to the process in order to feed information to Google to get enhancements and then get higher rankings over time, it's just part of the process. The next piece that you want to take care of is there's very particular types of posts that you need to take care of. Now, a lot of people, what they're going to do is they're going to come inside of here and they're going to add or showcase a what's new type of post. And this is pretty typical. You'll automate your posting strategy or posting structure, like with Zapier or something, you'll automate your posts on a three or four times per week basis. You might link them together. And that's fine. You want to show consistency. If you show that you care about Google business profile, Google will show you love, right? If you're consistent, you will get a little bit, but have you ever noticed with regular posts, you'll get a lot of views, but they don't generate clicks, right? Right. Because Google's going to be counting impressions. All right. So in any case, where you want to focus your energy after you filled out your products is going to be inside of your offers. And the reason is, is because the enhancements populate almost instantly. So this is a way that you can start force feeding information to Google business on a consistent basis. So with this being said, you can put in your offer and, and let's say for instance, that you have an offer that's Google, you know, it could be local SEO services. All right in in philadelphia all right so say it's local seo services in philadelphia you'll put a relevant image in there perhaps something about you doing your service in a particular area but more notably you also want to go in here and add in a specific link of course you want to either link it into a home page or a product page that you have on your website so now, as far as the process for getting 
a not a drastic change, but the position of moving from number four to position three when you're in maps is massive, right? This could be that little thing that takes you from number four to number three, from out of the map pack to in the map pack, okay? So with that being said, now you've had your products. The next piece is now you're starting to push in different offers and events that you're going to be hosting. So more importantly, focus on coupons, focus on offers, all right? And of course, your consistent posting, which is talking about the same thing. But then we have to tie it all together. What really will validate everything is the ask. So a human being asks about your pressure washing in Las Vegas, which is our example, right? Pressure washing Las Vegas, or for me, local SEO services in Philadelphia. For you, it could be whatever it is. But we've tied in our products. We have a relevant page on our website that everything on our Google business profile is connected to. So we have the website, we have the products, right? We put out our offer or our event and also our coupons around the same keyword plus location, but there's one more piece. Let's finish off the circle. Okay. The next piece is, well, has a person came in and validated this and have you answered that you are offering a pressure washing service in Vegas? And here's what I mean by this. When you're coming inside of your profile here, okay, if you come in and let's say for instance, that you're coming over here to say Chris Palmer marketing. Again, this could be you. You're getting questions, all right, which are housed and Google completely understands that you've been asked and you answered these questions. So when you come scroll down here and people talk about this all the time, but again, this is, if you start typing in Google, okay, business, poof, it, at, it it's answering it already, B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S. -S. Okay, see how it's sitting inside of here? It's gonna tie in your reviews and it's also going to start tying in other details related to your profile and your website. So it's reviews, other questions that you've answered and anything that's on the website. It'll start tying this stuff in. Then you'll start getting enhancements. Then you'll start getting pushed up inside of the map. Now, again, if you're going from number 10 to number seven or from 20 to the first page of maps, no big deal. But if you're sitting at number four and you're able to push into the map pack simply by force feeding information into Google, it makes a massive difference. So just pay close attention to very specific locations and specific keywords that you're really targeting start force feeding that in there. You'll, you'll know that you're on the right track when you start getting some enhancements. All right. And the enhancements show up pretty fast. What I mean by that is just like I showed you before, I showed you some of those websites. I showed you comments generally happens pretty quick. So to break this down last time, really quick here is you have the primary website with a individual page, hopefully that's going to be showcasing a specific location and specific service that you offer, right? Step one. Step two is I have a validated product within the Google business profile that's linked to that. Okay. If you really want to tie it all together, you have reviews talking about that service and that location. Okay. M multiple would be best. And more importantly, this, if you come over here, see how these are, see how they're making these entity bubbles. This means that 18 people went inside of your profile and they talked about the word knowledge. 12 people talked about the word YouTube. 11 people talked about SEO consulting. For you, what you want multiple people talking about is your primary service plus a primary location. So back, back to the order of processing here. We have our website. We have our product. We have our reviews. We've asked and answered the question of, do you offer this? And you're out. yes, I offer this in this location, right? Another way to force feed it in is inside of here. So if you've turned this on as far as the communication and as long as you're snappy and fast and you turn on your web notifications and you're quick, this is another way. This is as long as it's within 48 hours, if somebody comes in and asks for a specific type of quote or a specific asks for something very specific and within 48 hours, you go in there and answer it. 
I've seen enhancements pop up for that. Enhancements being inside of maps. If somebody's searching for a specific keyword or a specific location, and you've asked an answer inside of the quote or inside of the live chat, inside of your products, inside of your reviews, inside of the website, the probability of you popping up for that are massively, massively high as long as the person that's doing the searching is within that vicinity, all right? Or proximity, however you wanna phrase that or frame that, all right? I hope I hope that helps you out. I Just make sure that you follow the process. Get it on the site, get it in the products, get it in your reviews, ask and answer it. You will do better. Again, if you're going from number 10 to number eight, you know, number 20 to page one, not that big of a deal. But if you're sitting at number four, and you're looking, you're like, man, I tried everything. You're doing CTR, you're doing all this stuff, right? Connect the dots for Google, force feed that information to Google. I can almost guarantee you that you'll pop into the pack. All right, so in any case, my name's Chris Palmer. If you have any future questions related to Google business profiles, Google business management, pretty much anything local, anything affiliate, anything, anything digital marketing, feel free, ask in the section below. And I, of course, look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business, Google Business Profile Manager Tips video. Have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. All right. <clears throat>